کردن به تمام شایعات. His whereabouts at first were a mystery. Iranian nuclear physicist Sharom Amari disappeared in June of last year. Then the mystery got murkier. A series of internet videos offering disjointed clues. I was kidnapped in the holy city of Medina. Did U.S. agents take him in Saudi Arabia, as someone claiming to be Amari said? I managed to run away. Had he escaped from American intelligence, as another posting hinted? I am in America and intend to continue my education in this country. Or was Amari actually free and safe, pursuing studies in the U.S. as yet another one revealed? Iran says he was kidnapped by the U.S. The U.S. says he defected to America. And in still another new twist, Amari has turned up here, at the Iranian interest section of the Pakistani embassy in Washington, where he is reportedly requesting repatriation. Pakistan has managed Iran's interest in the U.S. since Washington severed diplomatic ties after the 1979 Islamic Revolution. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton says Amari was scheduled to return to Iran on Monday, but was unable to make travel arrangements. Mr. Amiri has been in the United States of his own free will, uh, and he is free to go. Amari had been working for Iran's Atomic Energy Organization, which the U.S. and other countries suspect is trying to develop nuclear weapons, a charge Iran denies. He reportedly had valuable information on nuclear development. Alex Vitanka from the Middle East Institute doubts that. In terms of access to Iranians, particularly that generation of Iranians in their 30s, very hard to get to. So it, this is uh, in many ways uh, a win for the United States. But um, if he didn't have the kind of information they needed, what's the point of keeping him? U.S. State Department spokesman P.J. Crowley says Amari met with authorities while in this country, but wouldn't say if the Iranian gave up any secrets. I can't answer that question. But what, why can't you answer right. that question? I happen not to know the answer. Some analysts think Amadi's return could mean an exchange for Americans held in Iran. And it's going to be interesting to see, again, in, in perhaps months or years to come, if what's happening right now with Amiri has anything to do with, for instance, the three hikers that have been held in, in Iran for about a year now. Vitanka says the truth behind the mystery lies in what happens to Amadi in the future. How will Iran treat a defector who changes his mind and then returns home? Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.